right, here we are. We've got the game loaded up. Uh, we're going to hit play, and we're going to take some notes on what I'm hearing. Duskius threatens heresy by his words, Emperor Aspertine. It is not heresy. The artifacts are meant to unlock the secrets of the core. Now that we have found them, we must use them. The discovery of the keys that Mardu hid from us so long ago truly bestows a great responsibility upon we, the chosen Marduk's people. But the next conjunction is over 50 years from now, and only at that time can they be used. So it was made. So it has been for millennia. This being so, I remain puzzled, Lord Dasius. Why, after so long, must we expect that law to change? Perhaps our task should be to preserve the keys for the future generations that will be able to use them. Or does Dasius intend to bring his awesome power to bear and create his own conjunction? Watch your tongue, boy. I am the direct descendant of Marduk, son of the Creator. It is my destiny to fulfill his prophecy. If I have to step over your corpse to do so, like I did your father's, so be it. Why do you talk so easily of corpses? How many lives must be wasted to achieve your ends? I very much doubt that it was Marduk's intent. Yes, please. Tell us how you will collapse time and bring the future to the present. Enough! My plan will bring light to the core in days instead of decades. Know this, Emperor Aspertine. In the prophecies, Marduk teaches that one of his blood shall arise to fulfill his words. I am the one who was foretold. It is my destiny. I will not tolerate interference by cowards hiding behind the wooden shield of petty politics. The power of the core shall be mine. He is a dangerous man. He may be of Marduk's blood, but bloodline does not make one great. But he will need the keys to fulfill his plan. Without them, he can do nothing. That is what we should fear. He will take them from us if he has to start a holy war to do it. Gunnar, can I count on your fleet? As my father's before me. Then protect the relics. You must not let Doskius change the destiny of the world to meet his own whims, as you wish. You should come in and see Uncle. He asked about you today. Zero hope, Maya. I have to work on runner sensors next time. Promise! What's up, I need Maya? to talk to Uncle. Is he here? Maybe. What's it worth to them? Uncle's in the other room, Maya. He'll be right back. Shut up, you traitor! You're cutting my profits here! Did you bring us anything from the junk piles? Not today, Emma. Tori, are you causing trouble again? Uncle, while Grub and I were out junking today, we saw ships in the sky. They were definitely battleships of the Chosen heading east. Why are they here again? What are you so afraid of, Maya? They probably didn't even see you. It doesn't matter. The last time they came, when Maya was your age, battles between their own tribes happened here. Mother! Mother! Maya, we have to find ships. Their ships strayed into our city, and many people died, including your parents. Since then, we've been a city of orphans and elders. It took ten years to rebuild. We can't let that happen again. Whatever. I know. I know. You and Maya have taken care of us ever since. You can never let us forget. You're too young to really remember the devastation. As your teacher, Aziz, would say, History falls into cycles, my boy. Mayor, what's the meaning of this? Search the place. They're hiding in here somewhere. Good day, Uncle. Good day, Miss Maya. It's, it's a, a fine, fine day. Yes. The fresh air would do wonders for you, Uncle. All right, all right, enough. We're not here to eat lunch. We're here to arrest smugglers. You'll find no lawbreakers amongst the junkers. I'm the mayor of this town, and I can do as I like. Someone is smuggling weapons from the junk piles to a city on the world show below. Now, their greed is gonna get us all killed. This has gone too far. Get out of our house. Now! Oh, don't think this is over. 
Where there's trouble, it's always the junkers at the heart of it. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, shut up. Where did Tori go? I'm not sure. Probably to class. The place you are probably late for as well, Maya. Perhaps you can ask your teacher about these ships you saw. Alright. And then I think it's our turn to walk around and check out some stuff. Let's see what do we got going on here. Okay, that's nice. So wherever we go. So there's a, each time there's a menu change, there's a little noise, kind of sounds like a, sort of like a synthetic flute or something. Synth flute noise, and then some clicking for options. Click, 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 click. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. Um, okay, so back, just checking that out. Let's see what else. Okay, let's try that. Okay. Noise for opening the fridge. And also a noise for um, getting an item. And I think that's a pretty good picture. Let's walk outside here. There's a little outside area. Let's check it out real quick. So, And the reason I came here is just to show off the battle system, which is really the only element of the game we haven't seen so far. And that, of course, has its own set of sounds and actions and all that. So let's... Uh-oh, uh here we go. Right, so we have this really weird wolf-looking dog thing. And it seems like that's our health bar. How do I attack? How do I attack? Oh, no. I forgot how to attack. That's not good. Yikes. Do something. Oh, here we go. Did something.
Let's see. Bread. Let's do that bread. Get some bread. Yeah, that's pretty much um, the battle system. You know, it's a pretty, it's a pretty old game. That's just basically what it uh, what it looks like. Um, ah, of course we miss. This game sure takes a long. sound for experience and for um and for getting gold at the end oh gosh no there's another monster there um i'm gonna go ahead and uh, stop playing the game for a moment uh yeah so we're hearing lots of different sounds going on there and um some of the stuff that i wrote down was that we have um we definitely have uh that the title screen, you know, the title screen, it has this kind of orchestral, um, sounds very serious, so it's just like strings, instruments, um, cellos, violins, and it kind of gets you in that mood of like being very serious. And then when we get into the first scene, it's almost, it's very much like a cinematic, like a movie or something. We're seeing, um, we're seeing, uh, this sort of chamber or maybe a spaceship or something and then there's an old man and I think that you're hearing those ambient noises like you're hearing like maybe a, a humming of a machine in the back or you're hearing steam pipes um, and then everybody's talking so seriously and um, and I think the voice acting plays a big role in that in in a game to, to help you feel engaged um, and when you're um, you know when you're when you're playing that really helps so uh, let's see what else. Okay, so in the in that little house that we were in earlier, there was there was a noise for the fireplace. There was a noise for the kettle. Um, just little details that help to kind of make a scene seem very real. Um, and then you had the uh, there's actually a noise for opening up uh, the the fridge. Um, there was a noise um, for opening up the menu, and it kind of had this. Uh, it's what we call like a pad. It's a pad sound. It's like sort of a, a sound that doesn't grab your attention. It's not a really piercing, sharp sound, but it's a sound that sort of rises up slowly and then falls back down slowly. And it has sort of the the sound of maybe a flute or a pan flute if you've if you've heard of those before. So um, so definitely uh, we're getting some of that, some of those pad synth, synth noises. Um, and then going through the menu, you have the click, 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 click sound effect as you highlight each thing, and that is something to you know help you keeping uh, help you to be engaged, you know, keep your attention. Um, and then there's just a matter of the fact that certain noises are, are satisfying noises to hear. Um, when you hear that click sound, I don't know, it just um, it sounds very satisfying. It sounds like I'm like I'm doing something, like I'm being productive, you know. And maybe that's related to typing on the keyboard. Of course, if you hear typing on the keyboard, you feel like, oh well, that person's busy. They're doing something. They're productive. Um, and maybe that's what that click sound does there on the other end. Okay. Um, so of course, in your video review, you may not show as much footage as I did. I showed a, a lot of footage uh, mainly because my video is. Um, it's very, it's, it's more like a, uh, of course it's a tutorial to you, but the game that I selected is more of a cinematic filled game. So maybe you just have a more simple game, um, and it's not going to take as much time to really get into the actual main game and start doing things and talk about what the sounds are. Um, so... Uh, that's what I've got for now. So I'm going to do one final video after that, after this, and it's going to talk to you about um, how to uh, answer those MYP questions. All right, great.